Hello everyone. We will continue the topic best performance guidelines or practices. And in the previous video, we finished up to five performance guidelines or practices. Now we will jump on to next performance guideline or practices. This point, whatever the point we are covering now, this point has the highest weightage among all the performance guidelines or practices. In any interview, this performance practice will play a vital role and no one will accept the code in the project if this best performance practice has not followed. So this point has the highest weightage. We should always, always follow this practice. Now, what is the point? Whenever you fetch data from foreign key tables or dependent tables, always, always check for size subbar C condition or internal table, not initial condition. We already followed this practice and we put so much stress at that point of time that whenever you are fetching data, from the dependent table or foreign key table, you should always check for not initial condition or size sub bar C equal to zero condition. Never, never blindly fetch that data without this condition check. Now we will go into dig down of this why, why we are following this practice. Suppose simple example. We are not checking the condition. And without condition itself, I am fetching data from the dependent or I can say foreign key table. I am checking the syntax and I am activating. Now, I am putting a breakpoint and highly, highly important point. Maximum people have a wrong perception here. I am just putting the breakpoint. Now, I am going for a wrong input. Just see, I am going for a wrong input. Suppose I am saying order number 20 to 30. I am going for a wrong input. Now, based upon the input, it will fetch data from which table? Order header table. But there is no order number 20 to 30 in this header table. If I will show you the header table, in this header table, there is no order number 20 to 30. There is no order number. So whenever this input will check into this table, nothing, there is no record for order number 20 to 30. So this internal table will be blank. If I will go for F6, you can see, size sub bar c is not equal to zero because this query failed and we have zero records in this internal table zero record there's no record in the internal table now you have not checked for any condition nothing you are blindly blindly fetching data from the dependent table or item table without any condition check, but what is the where condition? You are or we are checking the data of this internal table for all entries in this internal table. But how many records in this internal table? Zero. And what is the where condition? First internal table order number. Is there anything in the first internal table order number? Nothing. So this blank this blank is acting this blank is acting as a input for the order number column of this table so this blank this blank is acting as a input for the order number column of this item table if i will show you order item table this is our order item table. 
for order item table now there is no input we have a blank input at all because nothing came from the header table so for the item table we have a blank input so whenever this query will execute people think zero records will come but this is totally totally a wrong perception just think if there is no input there is a blank input for the order item table our input is blank whenever it will execute have you seen all records from the item table are coming so whenever this query will execute we are getting all the records from the item table but just see how wrong it is just think in project you are giving a wrong input nothing came from the header table but we have not checked for any condition without condition we fetch data from item table just think if item table has 10 crore or 20 crore records it means this internal table has 20 crore records and it is a unnecessary load to the database sometimes if people are not checking the condition this query is taking too much time and program will terminate after some time itself so never never go for blindly writing the query always check for if condition and this is the wrong perception by the maximum people they think if first internal table is blank it means whenever this query will execute we will get zero number of records why why just think your input for the second table is the data of first internal table first internal table is blank blank whenever blank input will go to your second table whenever there is a blank input to second table it means all data will come in the second internal table and this is what we gave a wrong input still we are getting so much data from the second table and just think a scenario you have 20 tables and all those 20 table are dependent on this particular table and 20 unnecessary database fetching is happening because first query is failed itself and all those 20 queries are dependent on the first query itself so why we should give unnecessary load to the database and this is what we saw in the project whenever you are fetching data from dependent table based upon whenever you are not writing any condition and blindly we are fetching data sometimes program went into a runtime error itself because system will bring all the data billion trillion of records and ultimately it is a system it does not have the time it does not have the memory to store that much amount of data and it will go into a run time error so never never write or never never fetch data from the dependent tables without size sub rc check or not initial condition so in this case if i will write the condition if i will write the condition if i will write internal table is not initial so if i am giving a wrong input suppose if i am giving wrong input so this query will give the initial result internal table will be initial you can say internal table will be initial and this query is totally based upon this condition and you can see the second query has not executed even so our performance of the program is very very good because we have not given any load to the database at all yes so if you are giving right input or if you are giving wrong input always always yes your other queries other queries are totally dependent on your first query totally dependent on your header query itself this is one of the best performance practice 
and maximum people whenever they have a wrong perception here that first internal table is blank then zero records anyways are coming from the second query no all data will come from the second query because there is no there is a blank input to fetch data from the second table blank means it will bring all the data because there is no input at all it will bring all the data from the second table so in this video we studied one of the best performance practice and it has the highest weightage among all the performance practice whenever you fetch data from dependent or foreign key table or item table never fetch blindly always check for size subbar is equal to zero condition or internal table not initial condition and again i am putting so much stress never think if first internal table is blank zero records will come from the second table no for the second query says you are going for blank input it means ultimately it will fetch all the data which is present in the second table so that's it in this video in the next video we'll go for more performance practices thank you